It's a dead heat. That was around 11 p.m., with three-fourths of the votes counted. And that down-to-the-wire, neck-and-neck, deadlocked race stayed tight. Hit and refresh every two seconds. Why? Just to see how many more precincts are left. It's been the same for about a half an hour. Everyone who had a BlackBerry was on it. Like they thought the more people checking, the faster results would come in. We got about 92% of the vote in, up by about 1,421 votes, give or take. By 1.15 a.m., it was a 1,000 vote race, and it was up to one county. And Mercer's the only thing left. It's like a standoff where no one can leave. The party packs up, but one table remains. I knew this was going to be a tough, close election. I didn't realize it was going to be this close. It's 2.45 a.m., and we're still waiting on those votes from Mercer County. Those who can stay up do, but some lose out to Mr. Sandman. Ham's kids end up sleeping on the job. I know that they're having issues up there in Mercer County. I'm sure they're doing everything they can to get this vote counted, get it to the Secretary of State. So we just have to be patient, let them do their work. Still no word at 4.30 a.m. Ham decides to wait it out at home. He leaves the hotel with this on his mind. He'd rather be up 1,000 votes than down 1,000 votes, right? Every time. Now from his insurance commissioner office, Ham sits in the spot he'll stay in for four more years. To know that you know, the voters of the state heard my message over the course of the last year, they rewarded me by giving me four more years as their insurance commissioner, and now I need to earn that every day. And I'm not going to let them down. Ham says it was a fight worth the long, sleepless night. In Bismarck, Donnell Presky, KX News.